Hi there, it's Ian O'Regan here with a quick video on a tutorial on how I play uh, Henry Glover's Me and My Crazy Self. It's based on the Jeff Healy cover version of this track, uh, which appeared on Jeff's uh, cover to cover album. And what I've done is I've learned that note for note, and then I've drifted over the years as I play it live and let my own sort of style and, and riffs and stuff kick in. I think it's an excellent idea always to learn other people's stuff. Uh, it's the best advice that I've been given. Learn other people's stuff, fold it into your own playing, but then let your own style, your own riffs uh, take over and let your own voice come out. Uh, only real reason for learning stuff and playing it slavishly note for note, I think, um, is is if you're in a tribute band. Otherwise, you know, uh, in every style of music, and particularly blues, let your own voice happen. So this is me and my crazy self. I'll play the introduction and show you what I'm doing in this video, and then in a second video, I'll show you what I do for the solo. Again, uh, hopefully, hopefully it will be useful for you. So uh, quickly through the introduction first of all, and then I'll take it nice and slow. Um, we're looking at a 12 bar in B major. So it will be a, a B major chord, which I play with my little finger on the three, the second, third and fourth strings, rather than using all three fingers. Uh, so we'll have an E major and an F sharp, or an F sharp seven. Uh, and there's also an E minor in there in the turnaround and a, a B7, which I use using that little triad uh, for the B7, which is the 5th string 2nd fret, 4th string 1st fret, and the 3rd string 2nd fret. Okay, so the introduction goes like this. So it starts <coughs> with the B string, 3rd fret, the 2nd string, 3rd fret, played with your 2nd finger. Uh, pick that string and then bend up slightly, perhaps as much as a half a tone to give it some tension. 1st string, 2nd fret, then the 4th fret, 2nd fret again. Back to the 4th fret, bend up half a tone, bend down and play it, pick it again. 2nd fret. And the second string on the fifth fret with your little finger, third fret, and down to the fourth string, back again, and the third string on the second fret, and finish on the fourth string, fourth fret. So again. I'll do that one more time nice and slow. And then I play three quick passing chords, <coughs> which is a, a simple triad. The first of which is an F sharp seventh triad. So my third finger, fifth string, fourth fret. My index finger, fourth string, second fret. And my second finger on the third string, third fret. And then pick those three strings, five, four, and three. F sharp 7. Now you can either strum them with a pick or I'll show you what I'm doing with my right hand. I'm using a pick but I'm also picking with my second and third fingers. So I'm picking the fifth string with the pick and I'm picking the fourth string with my second finger and I'm picking the fourth sorry the third string with my ring finger. I'm not sure if you can see that but I pick all three together roll rather than which you can do with a pick. Tend to pick, I tend to pick the three strings separately with my pick and my two fingers. Either way works, whatever works for you. But the chord there, that triad, is an F sharp 7. Then I move it all down one fret and pick the same three strings again to get an F7. And then I move the whole thing down another fret, which releases the first finger. So you're playing the E7 shape. Okay, so that's F sharp 7, F7. E7 and nice and quick succession that kind of approach okay so from the top again nice and slow I'm 
do that again. Okay, so nice and sharp, finish that E7 very quickly. And then <coughs> the last part of the intro, go back to the B string on the third fret and play the same bend. Then pick the first string on the second fret and then hammer on to the fourth fret with your third finger. So you get. Then go back to the B string on the third fret, pick it and then pull off to the open B string. And play the third string on the first fret. So those six notes together. One more time. And then the last section is pick the, <coughs> the B string, second string on the second fret, bend it half a tone and release it again. Then pick it open the third string on the first fret, and then the third string on the fourth fret, which is the B string. And the reason that I play that, as opposed to picking the B string open, is because I can get the extra vibrato in there. Okay, so the last riff all together. Turnaround starts on a B7, that little triad I showed you earlier, to an E major, E minor, B. And that is taking my index finger on the second fret on the sixth string. So you hit it three times with a hammer on, or maybe hammer it on twice and then pick it the third time. Play the whole F sharp seventh chord behind. Okay? So the whole thing nice and slow. And you'll notice on that turnaround I'm playing a couple of little ghost notes in there between the chords to give it a little bit of rhythm. Doesn't matter what those notes are, I may be picking the fourth string or the fifth string, letting my fingers bounce along them, whatever it is. A little bit of feel, a little bit of rhythm. So yeah. Okay, and one more time. Then into the verse, which is B, E major, B7, E. So instead of playing that normal, which you play in a lot of blues and rock and roll, I'm using the, the whole chords to get the same sort of up and down transition. B, B, B7, E, B, E, B7, E. Crazy self. Do that four times. Let a woman make a fool out of me. And then stay on the B7 the fourth time. Okay, so instead of B, B, B7, B, the fourth time you play B, E, B7, B7. And then next chord is a E9 which is your second finger on the seventh fret, fifth string, your first finger on the fourth string, sixth fret, and then your third finger plays the seventh fret across all three of the first three strings. So you get it's an E9 chord.
play that for two bars. <coughs> so from the top, me and my crazy self. Let a woman make a fool out of me. Seven. E me and my crazy self. Let a woman make a fool out of me. Back to the B. So again, all I'm doing on that E9 That sort of rhythm. Let a woman make a fool out of me. E, B7. And then B7 again. And then for the last four bars, we go to an F sharp 9, which is exactly the same as the E9. But we're playing it on the starting on the ninth fret, so the fifth string, ninth fret, fourth string, eighth fret, and the first, second, and third barred with your third finger here on the ninth fret. Now she went away and left me. E9, which is the same thing back two frets that we played earlier. I'm as lonesome as a fool be can be. And then the turnaround. Same as we did at the end of the introduction. B7, E major, E minor, B, and then, and you can do that uh, either by just picking the chords or you can play little arpeggios. doesn't matter whatever you feel like at the time. And then you do exactly the same for the second verse and then you go into the solo which I'll cover in a second video. Enjoy!